what is that about that you can do in a sketch you can they can't do in a film that you can do in a play so where how do you retool your in re recalibrate your instincts here I am in a e two minutes e well each each uh, I think form is an art form so you can do um, a horrible movie but make a brilliant television commercial so the commercials 30 seconds long but it's a piece of art that stays with us so art can fo come in any form you know um, in uh, when I when I did Ed Grimley in SNL everyone wanted me to do an Ed Grimley movie and I thought that was a bad instinct I thought that the reality is that that was kind of dismissing the power of the sketch length of six minutes or five minutes that that is the length of time that character or the comedy of that character or the absurdity or the satire of that character should dwell in. But uh, Annie Hall, Woody Allen would say none of his films he wants longer than 90 minutes. Um, so the comedic frame or the envelope that you express this in is in fact you are aware, oh this is a two minute piece, this is right. a six minute piece, right. this is a t series, this is a film. How do you do that? Well, you do it. You know, that was the advantage of SCTV over SNL. SNL is live. So most of the scenes, you know, that people do, they all say, oh, boy, if I could edit that, I'd take two minutes out now that I've seen it, now that it was done. But on SCTV, we had the luxury of looking at something and saying, gee, we thought this would be a great 60-minute movie parody. It doesn't work, but it could work as a brilliant two-minute movie promo. So we'll cut that because it was an edited post-production show. It wasn't live. Is comedy better shorter? Well, you know, the old expression, leave them asking for more. Um, uh, I think comedy is usually, you certainly don't want to wear out your welcome. You don't want to have the audience say, I get it. Oh, we've got three more minutes? You don't want that. You want to be ahead of them. You don't want How long did it take you to learn or, or to understand when an audience was with you, behind you, or ahead of you? Well, by laughter versus booze, you know. <laughs> um, Were you booed? Have you been booed? Not really. I'll do it now if you want. If they can go ahead. I'd like the experience. No, but I mean, you, you, you know when... Listen, I did, in the 90s, I did three plays. One musical and... T no, two musicals. Maybe three musicals. No, three, anyway, with Neil Simon in a row. And I found him to be fascinating that he would, every preview, he'd be there at the first rehearsal until opening night through every preview, through Out of Town. When I did The Goodbye Girl, the musical with Burnett Peters, he, we started in October and we opened at the end of March. We did tryouts in Chicago for five weeks. He was at every performance and rehearsal. Every show he'd come in and say, do you want to try this line? How many lines can you try today? And his thing, in other words, new lines. And sometimes I'd say, oh, I'll try that. And he'd start laughing. He'd say, You're gonna you got too many. You're going to forget the old ones. I might, but I'd write them on my arm. I'd go out on stage. And I remember one time I said, oh, Neil, I, I screwed up that line. Uh, oh, no, you did it badly, but I'm still cutting it. It's not a good line. <laughs> and, but he would say if he, you know, was able to add one good, great joke to the script that day, he'd go home and pour a glass of champagne and say, Neil, you're a genius. I want to say that maybe not, maybe shorter doesn't make better comedy, but everything that you've said in this interview and every time you've made me laugh is partly because of the speed with which you reply, the speed with you can come back with something. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen a comedian who's sluggish. I've only seen comedians who are sharp, who are always ahead, who can th maybe see faster than I can as an audience, mm -hmm. and therefore take me there. And th I mean, but you know, again, it's subjective. That's your perception of what makes you laugh. But I don't think it's a golden rule, because I think some people might say, you know what I hate about Martin Short, how fast he is. Give me sluggish. <laughs> <laughs> see, that was a fast reply. There you go.